welcome back to another episode of Multiblock Madness, where I'm doing my least favorite thing, crafting runes. Um, we're about to use the spring rune uh, to make our apprentice bottle, but it's probably also used for other handy stuff. Rune of greed, um, whoa, we don't need to be looking at that, but yeah, there's some, there's some uh, other useful stuff that probably could be made with this rune them and one of them. Also trying to level up uh, my deep mob learner. Um, one, oh, two zombie kills away. I'm getting the next tier and then uh, might be kind of cool to do a the next level trial. Um, I, is there a enderman trial? There totally is. We should level him up a little bit too. And the end of pearls are nice. But now that we've got this rune of spring, how much life essence does it take to make this guy? 5,000. Um, there might already be 5,000 in there. I did have another uh, incident where there was a troll stuck inside there. So I had to dig into the top to get in there as well. But uh, yeah, we're getting some stuff in here. <laughs> Um, here's my sacrificial dagger. Let's put this dude in. Ah, oh, he would have got pulled straight out because he needs to be in the blacklist. One more kill. Perfect. Advanced tier zombie thing. Now we can do some better. Oh, is it finished? Apprentice blood orb. Nice. Let's charge him up a bit. Um, oh. Of course. Yeah, a little bit annoying having to do that, but um, super simple automation. Now that we've got this tier 2 blood orb, that's great. What do we do with it? If we have a look in our quests, we've unlocked that. Now we've unlocked like the alchemy table. Seems like we need it to get to a tier 3 blood altar for some reason. We're going to need it for the heavy engineering block. Self-sacrifice, yes we do need them. Um, and actually, I think I've probably got the stuff for that right. If we try to make some of these, perfect. Um, we can actually get a few. Cool, five of them, and that's just going to mean when we do uh, sacrifice mobs in there. Perfect, we're going to get more life essence from each one of them. Not that that's really a problem, <laughs> but it, it might mean we can time it up all this like even more and uh, process stuff even faster. Cool. Well, I guess we have to decide which route we're going. Like, do we want to charge ahead with some immersive engineering? Um, I still need to build my factory, don't I? I have kind of been putting it off. Oh, I need to make the charging station so I can get a building gadget. That's something that has to happen. But I mean, we've avoided it this long. Why? Why stop now? Let's let's come down here and do these other bits and pieces. Uh, I guess we're starting with building a Thormium Essentia smelter, which we are missing the research for. And the Arcane Alembic, which we are probably... Oh, we can make that. All right. Okay. Uh, but we're missing the Thormium Essentia Smelter. And a Thormonomicon, that's probably alchemy, right? Essentia Smelter. Oh, I have to get all these different things. Which is pretty much a case of just finding items that have this stuff on it and chucking them in our cauldron. And then checking the court slivers in there. So I'll I'll pop up the research that we need to be able to make this guy because we have to make him at some point. Why not now? And there we go. <laughs> Managed to get all of them. And we need a theory of alchemy. And then we can make an Essentia Smeltery, which isn't even the one we're trying to make. We're trying to make the Thormium Essentia Smeltery. 
Uh, but this stuff is all going to be very handy. Uh, Thormium, we need theories. All right. Now, as a reminder, if you don't want to do the Thorncraft stuff, back a couple of quests ago, we could get this. Oh, this will unlock the all research. So it's probably for crafting the items, actually. Yeah, Thormium. Huh. What? How come we never made this? We could. I think I've still got some of that left. But all right. Uh, time to do some theory crafting. And a little bit of research later. Oh, I'm missing a crucible. Uh, which means I need... And I accidentally threw a storage remote into the crucible, which was unfortunate. <laughs> but if we get a cauldron and some sailor's moonness, which we're going to have to make some more of. And then we can craft an Essentia Smeltery. Perfect. And yeah, going to be trying to trying to go for the next stage of Essentia Smeltery, which now unlocked the research, which is nice. Oh, that was, no, we're trying to go for this one. Um, Yeah, we are going to want to do the water jars and labels. We are definitely going to want Alembics, which that was a quest. Ah, I've already got it saved there we want to make some of these uh, because these are handy for when you put stuff in that's got like multiple things in it um the essentia smeltery you kind of just end up with like this like the stuff's humanist you end up with this stuff sitting inside this guy um if you've got an alembic you can grab a jar which we're also gonna have to make um just the water jar and then you can store it inside there then you use it for crafting and stuff. Um, you can put it back in the crucible, but um, we're going to be using like all these essentia stuff, essentia things for uh, runic crafting, which, yeah, I wonder where I'm going to put that. Maybe where this, this all is, or up on the hill, although no, we've got our, got our arena, although that's probably not going to stay there. And it just needs to be a flat area, so we might put our runic crafting altar up here and then uh, move this guy. But the next thing we need to do, make an Alembic, whip up some brass, Essentia filters, that's just gold and silver wood. I haven't actually found any silver wood. They're those slightly different looking thorncraft trees you sometimes see around. Um, nope, not that one. I'll find it anyway. But uh, yeah, back when we get those components. And there we have some Thormium, which is pretty nice. Oh, night time again. And of course the zombies. So what we've got up here is a whole bunch of jars. Um, going to become obvious why we want these in a minute. We also did make the Essentia Smeltery and Smart Cane Alembics. And these kind of work. Uh, this is temporary because we're probably going to be replacing them very shortly. But uh, you stack them like this. Chuck coal in here or some of that um, essence, the film craft, the brownie stuff. The stuff that looks like that but was harder to make. Um, and that kind of just cooks items and you get the, the stuff off them, which is pretty cool. Um, got another pick. The second one that's come through the portal. Uh, we're still working towards that. Uh, what I think I need is, that's right, I had to make Essentia tubes. Ah, oh, they required these files of different types of, of essence. Um, and we're going to use these up here to take stuff out of this guy. So, let's have a look at the stuff we want to get. We needed like a file of alchemy. -a. I have a feeling that comes off like nether wart. Uh, but we might have something else. The codex, probably not the codex. Yeah, like nether wart type stuff. Got some nether wart. I feel like it's not quite enough. Yeah, that hasn't even grown. 
Netherwart's got like two, three Alchemia on each one. Uh, so even that's not enough because we need 10 for a file. Okay, bad example. I'll sort that in between clips, but... No. Vinculum. Trapped chest. Huh. So we check this in here. Ah, oh, does this not count as... Maybe it's not Niter. Actually, I'm a little bit short on stuff to burn, so we'll put that in there. That works. You can see we're ending up with that trap stuff there, and we'll end up with whatever else a chest has, which I think is like vacuous. So there's 10. Perfect. Oh. Now we have a file of Vinculum. Oh, we can get another one. Uh, but I might, since you only need the one file, I'll start putting stuff in jars. They're pretty much, they're kind of just like a placeable file, but they hold more, obviously. And uh, yeah, you can't mix two types in one thing. We've also got some metallum there. Cool. And yeah, that's why I've got all these jars, because there's so many different things you can get, and it's good to have like a a storage of them. So I guess I'll just get the other bits and pieces. Yeah, I don't think we get enough out of that because you don't, you can see how it's got like three of the Alkia, whatever it is, stuff we're after. You probably won't get all three. In fact, I'm pretty sure we won't. So let's just plant these and uh, find something else that's got that stuff on it. Uh, so it turns out mycelium also has the stuff on it that Netherwart does. So I think we'll take some of this. Yep. I also wish that I had a silk touch shovel. Yeah. A little bit of that, um... Vin... V vitium. Yeah. I might have made a mistake. <laughs> this is putting a ton of flux into the area. Ah, uh, dear. We're probably going to get a rift. Or we've already got a rift. But I mean, that's cool. I think we need to scan one for some research at some point anyway, so... Yeah, not the not the worst thing that could have happened. What is that Enderman doing? I see you. I still see you. Oh dear, these are full. But I think there might have been the last one of those things that we needed. So, book. Become this book. Nice, we've researched essential tubes. Now, these are kind of you can use them for like transporting this stuff, but I, I've managed to not have to use them. Um, if you wait a little bit longer, you can kind of like wirelessly or pipe or pipe, transfer it without pipes. Uh, but you do use the pipes for some crafting too. So, oh, we got a, huh. Great wood is a good source of magic essence. Oh, that must be that stuff. Cool. All right. Uh, so, oh, I'd eight of those things, but so we've done that. We're missing our chemical metallurgy. I need a theory. All right. Fine. I'll get a theory. Scan out all the theories. All right. So just carried on and did a little bit more of the research. Um, got the stuff for making that. I thought I was just about ready to do this. Just need some brass plates and an alchemical construct. It's now multi-block. Pretty cool looking one. And we get three from each thing, so that's actually not too bad. And Dawnstone gears. We can just melt down some Dawnstone. Um, so we do need to make some Essentia tubes. Grab planks are easy. Steel sheet metal is not bad. Essentia tubes, Essentia valves. Need a little bit of Quicksilver. Uh, which you find this uh, near the Thumbcraft trees the silverwood, and we should probably actually plant a couple. Um, they take up like a 
five square thing. Well, you'll, you'll see them when they grow. Um, they do look kind of cool, but I think they spawn the flowers that you can also get uh, Quicksilver from, which are these Shimmer Leafs. Grab some of that because that can get turned into Quicksilver Drops. So some Essentia Tubes, Iron Plates, Alchemical Brass Nuggets, that's not too major. Essentia Valves, just a lever and an Essentia Tube. Yeah, Tool Stone Gear, yep, nothing too spectacularly difficult there. And time to make our first multi-block of the episode. I think, I think I've got everything I need. <laughs> Let's find out. So, looks like the Essentia Valves are kind of around the center bit of great wood. So it's a three by three. Um, we've got a bit of great wood, which I don't have on me. Great wood planks. Um, you go, uh, let's put you here. And then these go on each side of that, so like one there. They go like that, and then I'm guessing the rest of the Essentia tubes... Oh, not what I meant to do. Okay. Um, hopefully the rotation of these things doesn't matter too much. One down there. And then this should be everything. Perfect. Oh, look, it doesn't make any sound at all. Which is a shame. But it's just an annoying noise. And this should make three of these things. Oh, perfect. We use these... For a couple of bits and pieces, I've never really, I've never made a potion sprayer. There's a bunch of stuff we probably won't touch, to be honest. Which is a shame, but oh yeah, here's the tree. That's oh, bigger than I thought. That's cool. Um, didn't spawn any of those flowers, but I think occasionally it drops like a couple of bits of quicksilver. I might have to look at duplicating those flowers, but hey, this might be... Oh, I'm missing the brass. I need to make some brass. And I need to flog this dude. And here we go. Oof. So you'll see this uh, takes 237 Vs, or V, um, and we only have 239 available. So now there's two, two available. It does regenerate over time. I don't know if it like goes down. I don't know if that's a thing that happens. Like if the maximum gets lower, the more you use it. Not sure. But, that's completed this quest, and we get a filling, filling Essentia Transfuser. Filling Essentia Transfuser, I think this is the thing. I hope it's the thing, so if we put this here, is this the thing that goes on these dudes, and then will automatically fill jars? Does this have to be on the top? Hey, there we go. Which means we probably want to put this guy like in the middle and he should automatically fill jars. Which, that's fantastic. By the look of that, the next thing we want is automated alchemy. Ah, oh, these things are cool. So once we build one of these guys and, oh nice, uses two of them, we got extra ones. Cool. Um, emptying Essentia Transfuser. Uh, to any side of the top block. Oh right, so this would suck stuff out of nearby jars into this thing we're going to make. And this thing is, uh, it's a replacement for chucking stuff into the crucible. Like when we want to make uh, our chemical brass, we have to chuck in like wooden picks in here, and then we have to chuck in like copper nuggets. Instead, as long as we have whatever the essentia stuff we need is, so the stuff that comes from picks, like the tall stuff, if we had that in the jar, it would get sucked out of the jar into this guy, and as long as we had copper in there, we'd end up with brass. It's a much cleaner way of doing things, so definitely time to whip up one of those guys. 
I still need to make that charging station so we can get the building gadget so uh, that our factory exists. That's probably not going to be this episode. But yeah, let's whip up these bits and pieces. Nothing too amazing here. Um, void jars, literally a jar and some stuff that we have. Void jars are similar to void drawers or like the void upgrades on drawers where it won't let it get over full. Um, there we go. Because you'll see, like, this dude here is full at 250. If he was a void jar, excess would go into him and then just dissipate. So, we probably actually want to convert all of these into void jars. Alright, that quest's completed. Um, we actually need more Salus Mundus. Um, so it was a bowl. That should be enough. Cool. And then we create this guy by grabbing this crucible that we got. And he may or may not need stuff underneath him. Like a magma or a fire. Two alchemical constructs. A stash. Uh, a dash. Wait. Ooh, unlock the needed research in the Thalmonomicon. That might be what we're missing. Oh, that is... Oh, we need to make an Essentia centrifuge. Dude. And it should be the last bit of research we need. Cool. <laughs> now we can, hopefully, if I grab... Oh, we made so much stuff. And if we grab the Silas Mundus, we should just need the one. Uh, unless we ever want to move this. I think we need to... I think if we break it, it turns back into the original one. Thormatorium. Now, oh, we got the reward, so that's the emptying Essentia thing. I believe that should work. I think that should work. We can try it. If we got a wooden pack, that should all be going into a jar. Cool. We grab some copper. We check it in here. We can ask for brass. And he should absorb. He should absorb it. This may need water and fire underneath it. Actually, they said to use nitro, didn't they? Okay, we'll grab a yellow nitro. Oh, that's cool, actually. Perfect. And then this would absorb whatever it needed. Um, how much we got? We got 19. So we should be able to get at least another three. Cool. Chemical brass ingots. Awesome. Well, another day of avoiding making a start on the factory. Yep. We'll get around to it one of these days, but uh, this is definitely some stuff we needed to do. We're definitely not going to be staying like this with just jars sitting on grass. But um, yeah, making some progress, making some progress. We'll come back next time. Uh, I don't know how much more Thorncraft we've got left to do. Uh, we might be making our way into the next lot of stuff. Looks like which might have been some, some more immersive engineering. We'll find out. Alright guys, it's been Classic Duff. Thanks for watching the episode, and I'll see you in the next one. My sugar cane is getting pretty tall.